What's going on, everybody? I'm back. Another unboxing. It's been a busy week, but uh, thank you to Diamond Select Toys again for sending me an awesome care package to check out, unbox, review, to talk about. There'll be an article that I'll be writing on gaming-age.com, so stay tuned for that as well. Let's get started. I have a lot of boxes, a lot of figures. Let's start with the most recent ones, and we'll take it from there. So out of this set, we're going to go with our standard size character by comparison. We got Comic Vision. Comic Vision is uh, a figure that looks pretty awesome. Um, something that I've been talking about a lot um, around with Marvel Select Toys lately is the quality of the figures has been incredible in comparison to some of the older designs. I'm a newer collector of these. I uh, only started collecting these maybe a year or two. So I have a small, small collection. A couple of them I actually have on my wall. Um, I'll try to link a little picture or video here. But um, other than that, you know, not every one of them caught my eye. And uh, it wasn't until recently. And I just started seeing the quality and really enjoyed the, the differences and the, the builds. Scaling has always been my concern. Because ultimately, I'm not big into the 7-inch scale. But a lot of my thought process was tied to a lot of the villains, a lot of the bigger characters like the Hulk, Red Hulk, Abomination, Juggernaut, Colossus. These are characters that are bigger in scale to most of the figures in the comic world as well. So you can kind of get away with displaying if you want to mix and match you know, the different brands you can tell in the back, I'm a heavy Hasbro collector. I do carry a variety of Transformers and Marvel figures. So we have a lot. I do collect 7-inch, but only in the DC world. So, you know, this is a big change for me. But I'm excited to check it out either way. So let's take a look and see what we got. These boxes are huge. Um, this is one of the lighter figures. By comparison, because a lot of the bigger scale figures are heavy duty. And one thing that I want to say is when it comes to the size and the quality of these figures, it's unmatched. You know, um, we live in a world now where a lot of the companies are cutting back on the plastic. I get it for the environment, things like that. But it's not cutting the cost. It's making things more expensive. And the toys are plastic. So it's kind of a weird scenario. Marvel Select, Diamond Select toys have had the average price of between $25 to $30 a figure. When you look at what some of these figures come with, for the sheer size of quality of the plastic, the accessories, you know, not every one of them comes with a ton of accessories, but um like I said, some of these figures are just massive. And when you take that into consideration, the fact that the price hasn't gone up yet, you know, it's something to be excited for. And uh, I love the idea of having a figure that has a good amount of articulation, a good amount of accessories. In some cases, they do have head swaps. Not all of them do. This vision does come with a little more of an angrier uh, version of vision versus a sta uh, standard, you know, straight faced vision head. We have a couple of hands. And we have a couple of magic slash energy um, attacks. One of them is actually included built into the hand. So that's something that we can use. And then we have just a regular hand here. And then the figure inside, which actually, you know, throws me back because we have the the metal, the wire ties that you don't really see in toys too much anymore. So that's something that's uh, unique. And what's really cool, a little hack for you, instead of wasting these, you know what you can use these for? Spider webs. You take two of them and you uh, wrap them up, intertwine them. You can make spider webs that are flexible for your figures. So for me, I have a ton of Spider-Man figures, and uh, it's a great little way because, you know, some of the Hasbro figures will give you webs and things like that, but they're not uh, 
you know, flexible for the most part. So it's a great way. I mean, I think it's uh, a great way not to waste them. So I'll keep them. When I get it, I'll get a full web. Thank you, Vision. Trying to get this guy out. That's, you know, it's tough to get some of these out. So let's move the box. Let's get it out of the way. It's plastic. <laughs> exact opposite from what we're used to with Hasbro. So I'll move that over here. All right, so we have our vision figure here. White, cape here. Let's talk about articulation. Yeah, normal head swivel up, down, up as much as you can go with the limitations of the cape, which is fine. A little bit of an ab crunch, not significant as you would with some other figures, but I think it'll work. You do have, um, it looks like you have the waist from the design, but it's not. You do have thigh swivel, seems to be a little stiff, so he might have to be heated up. So we'll be careful with that. And uh, single knee joints, okay, that's fine. And uh, you have ankles, you can kind of do similar to the Hasbro figures. And then, the single elbow, and then over here, up and down, wrist, pretty good. Solid figure. And again, you know, you can get away with uh, displaying him with, you want to have that comic accurate figure with your Marvel Legends, because I know for the most part, you know, with Diamond Select figures, you're not getting as many figures out there, but I feel like some of them just... They hit, they hit right, right at home. They do a great job. So that's definitely one of them that I have high, high recommendations for. So we have all the accessories here. We'll put them there for now. Let's move on to the next one, which is the one I've been waiting for the most. I have my Immortal Hulk on display already. I'll try to show that to you guys as well. But this guy, this is somebody that I was waiting for for a while. And, uh, my Amazon pre-order got canceled. He got delayed. And then when he showed up again on the website, he was $40 because someone else was selling him, not Amazon. So that was frustrating. But, uh, I would think that this is the Immortal Hulk body mold because it, it looks just like it. Obviously, different head sculpt. And I'm okay with that because I love the Immortal Hulk figure. The Immortal Hulk figure is probably my favorite Hulk figure in a long time. Um, I did miss out on the Hasbro um, Hulk that had came out maybe a year or two ago. That came with like the white box. I think he was a San Diego comic Con exclusive. But I did get my hands on the gray Hulk that I keep him sealed. So that's another thing, too. A lot of the Hasbro limited figures, I don't always open them. So that's something to keep in mind when it comes to these, you know. I am an in-box collector and an out-box collector. You can see on my wall, I have a ton of in the box, but I have a ton out of the box as well. And Marvel tends to be my uh, favorite to display outside of my Transformers. And uh, in other parts of my office, I have a variety of just random IP toys that are on display. So the one thing that's tiring is these metal wire ties. It's a lot. So it takes a little while. Sorry for the noise. And we got some of the plastic clips. And like I said, these boys are heavy. This is a girthy figure. Okay? Really, really awesome. He's a beast. Only one head, whereas the Immortal Hulk does come with two heads. But again, just such an awesome figure. Bulky, heavy, sturdy, hunk of plastic for a great price. Head swivel doesn't go up too much. It can go down a little bit. This is definitely more of a restricted head, but that's fine, you know, for this type of figure. I'm just going up and down. The usual 
the arms, the elbows. With my Immortal Hulk, the elbows were very stiff on uh, the right arm, and I was not able to move it, so I did not take the chance to do the hot water. But uh, I'm having better luck here. So we uh, are looking good here. Let's see, we got thigh swivel, ab crunch, limited again. I think that, you know, you're not going to get the crazy ab crunch that you would get with some of the Hasbro figures, you know, especially like the um, Spider-Man figures, things like that. We have a uh, double pin on the knees here, which is cool. It's a little stiff, but can get it with some flexibility in there. And uh, you can hear him. He's he's tough and thick in there and sturdy, but again, solid, solid figure. I'm excited to get him displayed with my Hulk. I'm wondering if I'll try to have them do a fighting pose, like fighting each other. And uh, again, you can get both open hands, closed hands. So I was thinking maybe having one open, one closed, and having them clashing. And I'll try to get a picture of that, which will be awesome. The last one we're going to do today, Beta Ray Bill, another mammoth of a figure. These guys are huge. I just I can't get over how big they are. And, uh, I love it. I'm I'm all for it right now. So, geez, I've seen videos. Doesn't justify the uh, the hammer throwing effect that you know they'll hold. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. That's what she said. Oh wait, forget it. We have uh, those lovely plastic ties. Something to get in the way. Hammer is really nice. Got the uh, other coloring for the strap. It's really cool. And we got my favorite, the wire ties. So with these, can I do one? Yes. You don't want to get going. You make that good. Guys have been really patient. I appreciate it. Still in there with the feet. He's not ready yet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I promise I'll fast forward this. So many wire ties, so many spider webs. Again, I'm all for it. Sick, sick guy, sick figure. He's got plastic cape under him. Another beast of a figure. He is awesome. So, elbow, single elbows, stiff as most. Really, really, really limited um, ab crunch. Barely. It's not. It's there. You can see it. Two different uh, pieces to the figure, but ultimately not going to move. So. No interchangeable hands, but uh, let's see. So this one, hand's not gonna really slide into there. So <laughs> what we're gonna try to do.
really, really, really cool. Where you can kind of see the different colorations. If you notice, it starts the full shield, starts to get transparent, and gradually disappears until it's just the velocity of him spinning the hammer. I know that they've had gore figures with that as well, but this is a badass toy. Really, really great job with uh, with these Diamond Select toys. Thank you again for the opportunity to check these out. Cannot wait for Apocalypse. Cannot wait for Blade. Uh, Super Scroll. There's a bunch of others coming. There's more to unbox. I'll have to do them another time. There are going to be some older ones, but I'm looking forward to that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. Remember, I can be also found at gaming-age.com, and I'll be doing an article about Marvel Legends and Marvel Selects and where they are and how they are important in my life. Take care. Talk to you soon.